What's up guys? Sir Sly here with my CFL box. 230 watts. Got uh, eight soft white bulbs in here. Those are the ones that you're looking at right now that look, you know, kind of like white. And then I have one bright white, which is a 6500 Kelvin, just to put a different spectrum in the mix. So four right, four soft whites, one blue spectrum. Four more soft whites, one blue spectrum. You can really see the difference in the color of the bulbs when it's on. When they're turned off, you can't see any difference at all. So remember, soft white for uh, flowering, bright white, which is the blue for vegging, and it doesn't hurt to throw one in the mix. You know, throw like two blues in with the reds when you're flowering just to give it more of a full spectrum. Anyhow, all right, back to the plants. This one right here is a uh, Sensi Star. Uh, I got this clone from Harborside uh, in Oakland. And uh, it's doing pretty good. It's got like two main top areas right here that you can see. I uh, lollipopped it. Try to get off any lower stuff that would be just, you know, not getting enough light. So it's coming along nicely. Then in the back there, that's a white widow plant. And I had a bunch of lower growth. See these ones sticking up here? Uh, there was a bunch coming off the bottom. And I, I ended up taking those out because uh, I didn't think they were getting enough light. So I just cut them, cut them out like yesterday just to cut my losses. Because I didn't want to have to deal with a bunch of uh, you know popcorn nugs when I finally do harvest. Then over there is a blue dream. And over here is another blue dream. And these ones were both lollipopped pretty well. They're looking like they're gonna have some nice buds on it. So anyhow, the point of this video is just to show you guys this really quick and to talk about uh, lights because I do grow with CFLs and I do grow with HPS. And I wanna talk about um, my feelings on you know what's better or, or what's not better. A lot of people ask me, you know, what's better, CFL or HPS? And the answer to which one is better will always be HPS because high pressure sodium, it's really easy to create good quality bud with a high pressure sodium bulb without a lot of work you know the light output on those bulbs are just so powerful that you know you can throw a couple plants in your box and you're most likely going to get some quality smoke without a lot of work and to try to get dense weed with the cfl takes a lot more work than with the hps so basically my answer is this if you're trying to get a grow going that's and you're not trying to put extra work into it hps is the way to go because you're going to end up having to, you know, do less stuff just to make the nugs nice and dense. With the CFL, you got to make sure you got all your buds near the lights and get rid of anything that's not near the lights because that's just going to be a waste and it's going to be a real big pain to uh, trim it. So CFLs is a great way to go if you don't have a lot of space and if you're just trying to, um, you know, if you're just starting out and learning you don't want to fork over all the money to get HPS, then yeah, CFL is a pretty good way to go. Um, it is going to take a little more work though. A lot more lollipopping and a, maybe some more training, tying your plants around the lights but not letting them touch the lights, you know? Whereas HPS, you just raise the thing like a foot or two above your plants and the light just shines down like so powerful that, you know, you're going to get some dense wheat. It's not the same though, so... CFLs are great lights. You just got to put the work in to get the dense buds and the quality. So it is going to take a little more work. HPS, less work, denser buds. So that's basically my answer for you guys. I'm not going to say that uh, CFL is better because they really aren't. You can just look at the statistics on how much lumens they put out and... Uh, you know, the waters they use, 
if you were to buy 250 watts of HPS and then put 250 watts of CFL, you'd probably get the same yield, and um, but you probably wouldn't get the same density unless you put a lot of work into it. So I just wanted to uh, touch base on that and let everyone know those are my feelings. Like, uh, eventually, I would love to have nothing but HPS for flowering because I wouldn't have to put as much work into my plants. Um, some nice little trichomes forming on this. These are at day, uh, I think like day 12, and I'm already getting decent crystal production. So I'm really happy about that. Um, all of these plants are grown in uh, Master's Pride. I added my own perlite because this stuff does not drain very well unless you add the perlite. So you definitely need to add the perlite. Everything's looking really healthy in here though. And I'm very happy about that. So anyhow guys, HPS versus CFL, HPS will always win. CFL can match that though, but it's gonna take a lot more work. So that is my final answer. If anyone, you know, is wondering, that's that's the answer for you. Alright guys, so hopefully that clears up some things, CFL if you want to put in a little extra work, HPS if you want to be lazy. Alright guys, peace out.